As millions of people survive cancer, it's becoming clear to doctors that many times life-saving treatment takes a toll on the heart. We've always functioned the, uh, with the aspect that the cancer is the most horrible thing affecting that person right now, and so just kind of do what you have to do and we'll deal with the after effects. Dr. Anita Arnold joined Lee Memorial Health System as a cardiologist with a specialty in oncology. This emerging field works alongside cancer specialists to monitor a patient's radiation and chemo. Patients who get what we call a cardiotoxic drug um, will develop myopathy, meaning their heart muscle weakens. A child who has gotten a lot of radiation to the chest, well, their coronary arteries are being irradiated, so sometimes we'll see fibrosis of their arteries. Instead of waiting years for symptoms to develop, oncocardiologists look at options to personalize cancer treatments. The goal is to prevent problems down the road. One of the things they're working really hard on is to totally narrow the field particularly with radiation. Keeping better tabs on heart function during treatment gives doctors a better opportunity to intervene. We're also trying to develop newer modalities to actually test for much smaller uh, decrements in heart function. With consideration to life after cancer, doctors hope to protect the heart for years to come. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.